All right, guys. So in this video, we're checking out the Beta FPV X Night Five. This is a bit of a beast of a quad here. Five inches, um, ultra light, under 250 grams with a 6s, 550 milliamp hour lipo. This is the one that Beta FPV sent, and I think they are they kind of designed these two to be together to get it under 250 grams. Now I know that. Some of you guys don't care about that, but at the same time, there's a huge number of you guys out there that absolutely care about that 250 gram limit because it means you uh, don't have to register your drone and still be able to fly legally. So if you're looking for some crazy performance from a five inch that you don't have to register, this combination in here is one you probably want to check out. It's, um, now I, I'm not a racer. And I don't race and so I can't really evaluate this as a, as a racing machine or even a, as a freestyle machine, really. This is not, I don't think, going to be uh, ideal for freestyle. You can definitely freestyle this. I think it's just targeted more towards people that are racing. Now, I have no idea how this would compare to something more traditional, you know, much, the much heavier uh, five-inch racers and with the, the 2306 motors or 2207 motors, whatever they're, they're using these days. You know, those quads are going to be more than double the weight of this, uh, all the weight, you know, probably like 500 to 600 grams of the battery. Um, of course, those are also probably running success. So this is kind of unique. And it's, you know, in order to get this, you know, performance and this weight way down, they, you know, basically shaved weight everywhere possible to get this as light as possible. So let me just talk about the specs here. So we obviously, five inch frame here we got your five inch props these are the gem fan i think the 5125s i believe you know sorry 51 yeah 5125 props so these props can work with uh, traditional five millimeter shafts and also the t um t mount here with the adapter and the uh, secret sauce here is this 1805 1550 kv motor which obviously lets you go to 6s now i do have that motor and also this uh, the 2550 kb uh, version of this motor. So I was going to put this into a 5 inch and fly 4s on this motor. I haven't gotten around to that build yet. And before, I mean, they actually even sent me the flight controllers in here. So before I get even build that, they already sent me the full full model here um, uh, in the 5 inch, which I uh, it's kind of funny that they're they're going faster than I. I can't even keep up with these guys. They're just, they're just pumping out too much product. So this is the flight controller that's in there. And I showed this earlier previously. I haven't put this into a build yet either. This is their new 35 amp. Um, this is their whip on one board, but this one has the 32 bit ESCs. And so, um, yeah, a lot of you guys complain that it's cost too much. I think a lot of money is going to the ESCs. Uh, 32 bit ECs, I think, have a licensing fee, so those do cost more. Um, but yeah, this is the layout of the board. It's pretty compact. Uh, pretty nice big solder pads here for your bigger motors. But this is the board that's inside the X Knight. And the frame itself, um, pretty skinny arms here. So three and a half millimeter thick arms. They're about six millimeters wide. So it is pretty light, as I said, it's under 250 grams. But I think if you crash hard enough, you're probably going to snap one of these arms. Um, can't imagine it'll hold up to a really bad crash. So uh, you know, durability is always something to consider when you're dealing with some, you know, something in the ultralight class. Um, I always recommend for folks that are going to be crashing a lot or expect to be crashing a lot, or maybe in situations where they're going to um, be crashing into harder objects like concrete walls or uh, sidewalks, you know, parking lots, asphalt, that kind of thing. My recommendation always is to avoid ultralight setups here because you're always trading durability for um, weight. So, you know, if, you know, basically if you want less, um, weight, you're going to be getting less durability. So if you want more durability, you have to go for the tank frames, unfortunately, which means, you know, getting over that 250 gram limit, um, carrying a heavier battery because you have to carry more weight, 
bigger motors, bigger everything. So, you know, basically it's just everything's going to be heavier if you are looking to get, uh, you know, ultimate durability. But anyway, a typical um, sandwich style frame, nothing really special. Uh, I think those are two millimeter plates for the sandwich plates for holding the arms together. And then you got your screws that hold the canopy down. You got your flight controller there. Motor wire soldered directly to the flight controller. And then you got, I think this is the new MO2 video transmitter here on this one. Pretty nice. Uh, I think it goes up to 450 milliwatts. I'm, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to show you the, uh, I'm going to do something kind of long range. I might do it in a separate video. Um, this will just be the standard uh, narrated flight and I'll do like a long range test of this video transfer in a separate video. Um, and also they sent the, in addition to the 556S, uh, I also have the 4S850. So on this setup here, you probably need a really super long flight time. I mean, you got, I got a pretty long flight time on the 6S 550, I think almost six and a half minutes, maybe six minutes, something like that. And I was kind of pushing it. So if you're just cruising around on a 4S battery on this motor, you're gonna just like fly forever. So if you're looking to maybe get something just to, you know, cruise around and stuff, this will be fine for that too. Although this is not really intended for that kind of flying. So the camera on here is, um, the Baby Rattel, I believe. Yeah, it's the Cadex uh, Baby Rattel. Um, obviously, they went for that one instead of the larger one for weight savings. You know, just to get that extra one or two grams of weight savings to get the um, weight down. Obviously, this canopy was built for the larger Rattel, so I must have switched to that at some point. And then the uh, receiver I got in here is the TBS um, Nano receiver. And they just have the antenna strapped to the arms like that. It does come in other versions and also plug and play, no, no receivers. So multiple receiver versions are available and got a pretty nice battery strap here on the bottom and sticky pad for uh, holding the battery down. And then the connector in the back here is an XD60. And I think the capacitor on here is 35 volts, 680 microfarads, I believe. Alrighty, so here's the weight of the drone. And we're coming in, what is this here? I can't see it. 144.8 grams, and then with the 556S. And coming up at an all up weight of 148.6 grams. So, yeah, I definitely need to get put the baby Rattel in there and not the full size Rattel. I think the if they put that in there, it would have gone over the 250 gram weight limit for this setup. All right, it's enough of me rambling on about this. Let's go ahead and write to the uh, narrated flight footage. And I'm just basically flying around myself at the park. Just you, just give you guys an idea what the props and the motors sound like. And you get you, give you an idea what the performance is like for this. It's, it can get kind of crazy, but at the same time, because of the, the lightweight and the motor setup and everything here, uh, I feel like it does kind of top out at a certain point. And obviously, if you go to a bigger 5-inch with a much bigger motor, you just, you're going to get more performance in this. So you just really can't compare um, this to a traditional five inch because the, it's just apples and oranges. And I know they're going to get a lot of questions like that. Like, oh, you know, just because this is lighter, this is going to perform better than a traditional five inch. And in my opinion, it's not the case. This is a, a specific use case scenario for those guys that want really good performance for something under 250 grams all up weight so they don't have to register. You know, I think this kind of package here is probably the best you're going to be able to get um, if you want to get under that weight limit. So if you think that there's something better out there um, that you can buy or build that is under 250 grams and gives you better performance than this, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to see what kind of other options are out there. Anyway, here's the footage, flight footage, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. So there's a lot of people here. Not sure how long I can fly. It's, it's actually surprisingly quiet. I'm flying right next to me and this is the quietest 6S 
fly they've ever flown. Alright, I forgot to change the rates again on this thing. Oh, what, are the, what are these rates like? It's not too bad. Pretty good prop wash handling. It's fairly windy. Alright, if you do a hard turn. You get a little bit of shuddering to come out of there. So I think this 556S battery from BDFPV is not super high C. Let's see. Let's watch that voltage again. It didn't drop too much, like 22 volts. But you can kind of feel the power fall off there. Right there. Kind of reached a certain point. I think it's because the battery it just doesn't have the juice. No, and then as the voltage drops and hits the wind, there's got a little bit of shuddering in that power loop. Yeah, it's getting wi pretty windy right now. You can hear it when it gets in, when it cuts into the wind there. Yeah, it has a, some shuddering in the tune there when I do the split us. I have a feeling like a lot of these guys, they're tuning this for racing, so if you just fly in a racing style, not freestyle. Yeah, see, most racers don't do that kind of move usually. A little bit more smooth on the sticks, but yeah. Hmm. It does that shaking when you get a lot of prop wash there. We need to increase the D gains a little bit. As I kind of speeding up here, it gets a little louder. Uh, also, for you guys that are beginners, don't fly close like this around yourself. You never know, you might have an accident. Yeah, it doesn't quite, not quite the angle right for the power loop. And I think on the 550 6S, you're going to get probably about four and a half minutes of flight time. I think that's 22 volts here. It's about storage voltage. And if you want to push the battery further, maybe get another minute or two, but just kind of, if you're just going to be flying like this, a little bit of mild acro. Yeah, about five minutes of flight time on this battery. I don't know, it needs a little, I don't know, for me I think it needs a little bit of a tuning adjustment. It's not terrible, it could be better. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.